From a uh, foreigner's perspective, it's a big bowl of meat boiling inside of some chili sauce, but it looks nice. Time to try, even though it's still boiling like crazy. You can't eat thumbs up tongue in a pretty way. You have to hold it, and then because the meats are hidden here and there between bones, so you have to crack it and then to eat properly. So this is how you do. You can't eat thumbs up in a pretty way. You have to crack it, sorry, and then. There is a limit with using chopsticks for, for having meat from Kamchatan bones. There is no pretty way of eating this thing. Just dig into it, get your fingers dirty, get your mouth dirty, it's just like go crazy. You don't have to think about a beauty contest. Just enjoy the food and just leave with a nice dirty mouth, sticky fingers. It's all you need here. Mm. Mm. <laughs> spicy. <coughs> Korean mentality is never to waste anything. So every time we have something left in the bottom of the bowl, let's say a broth, it's always mixed either with noodles or rice. <laughs> Once the rice has been prepared for you, you have to wait a little bit so it gets crunchier. Fried rice, rice. It smells so nice already. <laughs> It has a really strong sesame flavor and also kela leaves. So to be really honest, it's not for everyone, but for me as a Korean, it's really savory and then I can feel the feeling umami and it's really nice. Is it weird to say that this rice is just one of my favorite part of this meal? The first impression of this place is it looks really fancy so I thought it was gonna be something more simple as I'm more used to the Chinese restaurants in Europe. With a lot of Chinese restaurants they don't offer you water but what they have is a nice hot cup of tea and this is mainly because their food is sometimes quite oily and the tea helps to break down the oils and uh, doesn't give you this kind of bloated feeling afterwards. Look at this thing, we thought it's gonna be a little bit like small slices. This, this is a whole duck. She said this is a 7,750 second duck. A lot of ducks have been sacrificed for the bellies of people. So what happens? They bring the duck on the table just... Well, whoever wants to make some Instagram photos, who wants to film like we do, and then they take the duck back to the kitchen and then they slice it for uh, easy eating. But <laughs> I'm so excited right now. Rice is also not just white rice, it's already stirred fried with some uh, eggs. So, yeah, I assume it will be a good combination with this um, sauce and meat all together. How is it? 
No words, no words. Just went in for a second bite right away. So that's a good sign. Never eaten this kind of fried rice. Amazing. No, no, you have to try. Already from the appearance, the rice looks so much different than what we usually get from other restaurants. Okay, I think they fried this over fire because it has a fire smell to it. Wow. Okay, now let's dig in. Mm. 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 Some spiciness comes later. Mm. This is insane. This is so good. So many flavors. Especially the flavor from the fire. It's just so so crazy good. Right now we just got our hand pulled soy sauce noodles. The first round of the duck, which is the crispy skin that is supposed to eat them with sugar. And what is the sauce? This is for duck, which will come later. Okay. I am the noodle master. Smell is not that true. Mm. To be honest, I can't, I cannot get any flavor. It looks very similar with Korean jajangmyeon, just color-wise, but but actually right now when you stir it, the smell is coming now, the soy sauce smell. Mm, really clean flavor. Definitely soy sauce mixed. Soy flavor is there. A little bit of um, spring onion, stirred spring onion is definitely there because it's, it was written they, are, they used a spring onion oil. But yeah, everything is combined so well and it's just a really clean flavor. There is no flavor sending out like crazy. It's like everything is just so well combined and so harmonious. Wow. It's time to try the skin. Sounds sounds crispy. So this you have to dip into the sugar. Super crunchy. Together with the sugar and the oil, it matches so well. It actually tastes like a sweet, sweet bread somehow. Mm, really good. Now the next next part of the talk is the wrap. The way you eat it, you have to get the wrap. Get a piece of. Get a piece of duck. Get some chives. <laughs> Cucumber <laughs> and wrap it. Mm. The combination with all the vegetables and the top, it just melts in your mouth. It's just so well, well, well done. Wow. After having eaten the whole duck, you can actually feel how oily it is, so that's why now the tea makes way more sense. You have to drink it with every bite, especially when you eat the skin. Because when you have a bite of the skin, it's just you can feel how the oil just bursts in your mouth. It's like drinking oil. But the tea, after every bite, balances everything out and you can keep eating and you feel way better. Thank you. 
Here we have boiling the kalbi. In this case, when the kalbi starts to boil, we flip the meat. Once the broth has all simmered down, then we can add all the vegetables here. And then we boil them, fry them as long as all the meat is done, and then it's time to eat. <laughs> For the shiragi bok, the cheese green part must be the top parts of radish. And then in Korea, we use these green parts for a lot of different food. And this time, they put on the top of rice in a hot stove. And then they all they said there is also some seasoning between. And then we have to mix. And then we can eat with meat once it's ready. And listen, listen how it sizzles. It's really hot. And hopefully the rice later on will be nice and crispy on the bottom. The meat is boiling, so it's time to flip it. Time to cut the meat. After it has been boiling for around two minutes, it's time to cut. And then after this, we're gonna add all the vegetables and then mix it. So now all the vegetables goes in. Extra. So we have to get the vegetables nice and soft. So there are some sauce. It looks like some mixed with bulgogi style uh, mixed with veggies some veggies onions and carrots together let's try wow look at this scorched oh, everybody yeah this, this is why the hot cold rice is the best mm -hmm. the bottom is crunchy and it's one of the most delicious parts of the dish okay maybe let it be Love. scorched a bit more mm -hmm. This. The more broth you add, the tastier it should be. <laughs> it's time to try. I'm just gonna have a small piece of the meat. You have to chew a little bit to get the flavor. And then there's a little bit of this marinated, slight, slight spiciness, but it's really mild, but it's really good texture to the meat. Next thing, the special rice. It has been in the hot, hot pot for a while. It looks hot, but also looks delicious. Oh, it smells really good. Mmm! Korea does rice so well. Especially when they mix them with some kind of a sauce or herbs. Oh, it's so tasty. It's time to make some sam. And there's no pretty way of eating some. It's always <laughs> make it into a big bowl and then just stick it in your mouth. Mm. Mm. I love the combination with some because the salad leaf and adding a little bit of kimchi adds such a big extra flavor to the meat and all the combination is like fresh and the marinated the meat. It just burst in your mouth, it has like so much happening and it's so good and fresh. The more it simmers, the vegetables are getting sweeter and of course the meat is also getting softer. But don't forget, the more it simmers, you have to add the broth every now and then. Like this. Now I understand why it was written, the more it, you shimmer, the more it will be delicious. After shimmering a bit, like over 10 minutes, the meat is really soft and then all the veggies are holding this really cooked broth well and then it's so soft and a bit sweet but also savory. 